Christmas. Tell them about Christmas in Germany, eh? Tell them about Christmas in Germany. Christmas? In the army at Christmas time, they really do go, uh, do, really do go berserk. And this Christmas in Germany, we before we got to it, we all bought uh, a few bottles of spirits and all that, and we put them in our cabinet, in our wardrobe, little tin wardrobe in the room, and saved them waiting for Christmas Day. Uh, well, Christmas Eve for the big drinker. And it was so ridiculous that there was uh, four of us in the room and we all had it all saved about six bottles of spirit each. <laughs> and we decided to get them all out and put them on the table and there must have been 24 bottles of spirit between four of us on the table. And so we decided, oh, um, what are we going to do? So we're going for a big drink up. So what we said, let's have a drink before we go out because we've got this 24 yeah, bottles of spirit. A couple of drinks and then that was it. I don't think we even finished a bottle. <laughs> so we left the rest and we went across the, uh, to the naffy. Went in the bar and started drinking. And we got so... Drunk. I've never been so drunk in all my life. And the other, and one of one of our uh, also so came from London, one of our uh, friends, and he he, he, uh, he got so drunk that he, he fell down in the in the bar and and we laying on the floor. When it came to time to go, we just dragged him out. And uh, and we walked him back to the barracks and we were pulling him along, Thanks, two of us. And then uh, one of, one of our, our friends, he was really strong, really strong. So he said, give me him, he said, I'll carry him back. And he put him on his shoulder, over his shoulder, and he started to walk back with him. <laughs> and when we was about halfway back, he didn't, say, he didn't give any warning. He just said, oh, it's no good, he's too heavy. And he dropped him, and he hit the pavement, hit the stone floor, and smashed his back of his head. And they, um, but we were so drunk, we didn't know really appreciate what was happening. So we all got hold of him, and we got him back to our room. And he was in the corner, corner bed in the room, and we put him in the bed for the night. And then we all so drunk, we all probably fell asleep. The first thing I remember was the next morning <laughs> I woke up and I looked across and all I could see was red. You know, all on the walls and everywhere. Oh, it was, it was terrible. It was a white mess. And I, and I thought, I'm dreaming. You know, what is it? Because, I mean, being in the state I was. And I thought, I must be dreaming. And it was, oh, terrible. So... I, when we pulled ourselves together and got out of bed and looked at him, I mean, it's one he wasn't dead, but there was blood everywhere. You know, we split his head open. We, uh, my friend had dropped him. And, uh, of course, we got him seen to, you know, we had that too, because he'd done how much blood he had lost or what. In a terrible state. That's how they go in the army, the mares. Another time, then... What about when the officer came round to the officer, inspect the barracks? Oh, oh yeah, after, after they go, as I say, they are mad. They, they smashed up all the shower room and the t everything got smashed up. I mean, I don't know how, what state. And the officer came around, we said, well, we're really, really in trouble, you know, because when he sees this, he's going to go absolutely berserk. And he came around to all the rooms to inspect each room. And then across the across the hallway to me was the shower room. And everything in there was smashed. Every sink was smashed and all that. And the showers were ruined. And and, uh, and when he, he came around, didn't say nothing, and just went in and out of each room, walked up. When he came to the shower room, I could see him because the door was open and I could see him look in. And, uh, and he just, uh, you know, he turned around, come out, walked out, like, with the, uh, the free bar. And he walked away and thought, 
that's it, you know, he should go mad, but he didn't, he didn't, didn't say nothing. So we we couldn't believe it. We thought, he, he, you know, he didn't complain nothing. We said, I can't understand that he never complained. That he have to, and had us all up on charge for all the damage that would have been done. But he didn't. But the next, what, what happened was that when we come to get paid, we was all stopped, <laughs> stopped our wages <laughs> to pay for it. That was his way of getting back. So we wouldn't pay for a car. Well, it's, when you're not earning a lot of money, it's, uh, and you can't do anything, we all skin, relying on it. He absolutely ruined our next couple of months, more or less, all over this, uh, you know. But that's how he done it, which was even worse. If he had given us a couple, a couple of weeks CB or whatever, it would have been better. <laughs> Stop our money, it couldn't have been worse, because we needed it, you know. That was it. That's another example of what happens when, uh, you know, in the army they, they really do go mad, you know. And then, but the funny part of it was that I was given main gate with, uh, to do the guard on uh, probably the day after Christmas, might have been Boxing Day. Oh no, New Year's Day, of course it was New Year's Day and we had this fella, McSeveny, it was, he was Scottish, so you can imagine. He was on main gate with me, right? So only one of us had to be outside the, on the main gate at a time. There was three of us had the main gate, but only one of us had to be on the main gate doing the cars. And he was, of course, he was drinking all the time. But being Scottish, New Year is their main thing, isn't it? And he was he was walking up and down singing, you know, marching up and down, making a mockery of the guard, singing. And the free bar said, like, you know, I can't leave him out there because if an officer comes by and says, yeah, I'm in trouble myself for allowing it. So one of you has got to go out there. And, so we had to go out and cover for it. So we had to do extra guard duty out in front because McSeven, he was uh, taken, we had to take him off. He was waving his sword about and everything else, you know, I mean. <laughs> so, so we couldn't have that because, as I say, an officer had seen that, that would, he would have got six months. So the free bar called him in and let him sleep it off for the night. <laughs> and so we got away with that. But that's, uh, yeah, Scottish, I just realised it was New Year, I was on guard because uh, he was Scottish and uh, that's their time, isn't it, New Year's?